And what about fracking? All right, now, let me, now let we me have, have let me allow fracking. Vice President I Biden to respond. I never said I oppose fracking. Oh, really? You never said that you would ban fracking? And Joe Biden isn't the only one bullshitting America. Yeah, Kamala Harris, you know, his running mate. She's a master bullshitter, too. Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. That is a fact. Wow, our bullshit detector went off twice in one video. You know, this is what kills me about politicians nowadays. Back, back, I know Joe is old. I'm old. But at least I understand that there is a thing. There's a new invention. It's called video. You said it on tape. I did show the tape. Put it on your website. I'll put it on. Put it on the website. Joe, hello. Welcome to the modern world. Not only is there... This new thing called, new fangle thing called video, Joe. Uh, but there's this thing called YouTube. Now, the importance of YouTube is that you, as uh, just the average Joe sitting at home with your, your phone or your, your laptop or your computer, you don't need to rely on the lamestream media to remind you that Joe Biden is a lying sack of shit. You can find it yourself simply by going on to YouTube and looking up what Joe said just a few months ago about fracking. Not just Joe Biden, but Kamala Harris too. So let's 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 try that. Let's try a little experiment here. Let's go over to YouTube and let's see what we can find to uh, prove that Joe Biden is, and Kamala Harris are both to gigantic, huge, great, and humongous lying sacks of shit. Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, we would, we would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated and no more subsidies for either one of those. I guarantee we're going to end fossil fuel. No more, no new fracking. I'd gradually move away from fracking. And I think it's critically important on day one that we end any fossil fuel leases on public lands. Uh, well, like what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. new pipeline yeah. infrastructure? Yeah. New and, pipeline. And, and, exactly. and... They, they want to do the same thing I want to do. They want to phase out fossil fuels, and we're going to phase out fossil fuels. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. So, yes. And, and, and starting... And starting with what we can do on day one around public lands, right? And, um, and then there has to be legislation. But yes, and this is something I've taken on in California. I have a history of working on this issue. And to your point, um, and, you know, the, we have to just acknowledge that the residual impact of fracking is enormous in terms of the impact on the health and safety of communities. Now, what they're going to try and do is explain this away by saying that, uh, oh, well, we're only talking about uh, uh, fracking on public lands. Hey, I got news for you. The vast majority majority of oil extraction in this country is done on public land. You could say that that is politics as usual, because we all know that politicians, while they're running in the primaries, say those radical things to appeal to their radical base. But it's still bullshit. Case in point, Kamala Harris, when during the primary debates, accused Joe Biden of being a racist. And then later, when Stephen Colbert confronted her on it, she said it was a debate. How do you go from being such a passionate opponent on such bedrock principles for you, and and now you guys seem to be pals? It was a debate. Not everybody landed punches like you did, though. It was a debate. (laughs) So you don't mean it. It was a debate that the whole reason, literally, it was a debate. In other words, it was bullshit. And, you know, there are people that will say, hey, listen, that's just business as usual in Washington, D.C. Politicians always bullshit. (laughs) Well, the difference is Donald Trump is not a politician. I'm not a politician. And if I don't always play by the rules of the Washington establishment, it's because I was elected to fight for you, and nobody has ever fought for you harder than I have. That I can tell you. What you see is what you get with Donald Trump. 
And that's Donald Trump's appeal. I mean, you could say whatever you want to. He's rude. He's nasty. I don't like his tweets. Oh, he's not politically correct. All that stuff is bullshit. Bottom line, it's us versus the elites. And Donald Trump is fighting for us, not the elites, because Donald Trump is one of us. And speaking for myself, at least, I am sick of the bullshit. And that's why I'm voting for Donald Trump this November 3rd, and you should too. You take care of yourselves. God bless America. God bless our law enforcement officers and death to the new world order. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Share to your social media. And leave nasty comments below. God bless America. And death to the new world order.